Okay, let's take a look at uh, mixing now on the uh, 9XR and uh, ER9X software. Mixing is a really fundamental concept. If you understand mixing, you're going to like the radio. If you don't understand mixing, it's just going to be kind of a continuous uh, headache. Now there's a few fundamental concepts. If you get those down, you'll have no problem. So let's, let's take a look at those. First, let's jump over to the mixing menu. We'll do the long right to get to the model select. And then we'll click over to menu five. And here you can see we have an empty mixing menu, nothing out. And we're going to set uh, channel one, which is this, this, so this is gonna be channel one and channel two here. And we're going to do a really simple mix. The source is going to be the rudder stick with a weight of 100%. <clears throat> we do that. That was the default, so that was actually easy to do. And we see there's our mix. 100% of the signal. There's minus 100, 0, 100. And that is going out to channel 1. Now, just uh, for fun, let's uh, do channel two. And we're going to change that to be the rudder as well. There's no really practical thing you do, do with that. But it's interesting because this is something that a lot of radios have a really hard time doing, mixing two channels to the same input. But uh, in ER9X, that's just a very straightforward process. It's going to be practical in this uh, tutorial because what we're going to do is we're going to mess around uh, with channel 2 and we'll be able to watch channel 1 uh, be the default uh, movement and see how we can make that differ. So we've set that and lo and behold, now we have the two channels being mixed identically. Now, let's uh, take a look and see how can we reverse the motion. Now, there's a reverse menu, which is probably better to use, but it's interesting to see that we could do that purely by uh, editing the mix. So we click and we click Edit here. And what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to change the weight from 100%. And we're going to bump that down to minus 100%. And what we're going to see is now we're getting exactly the opposite motion. So you can see the weight is basically just going to multiply uh, the, the motion of the stick and scale that to the output. So let us now, we're going to bump this down. Say for example we wanted something with a smaller throw. If we set the weight to 50%, now the, both are positive, so it's going to be the same direction, but you can see channel 2 is moving half of what channel 1 was. For some reason, if you wanted, we can, let's try, we could set this down to 0 and we'll see that actually channel two is not being fed anything. So let's bump that back up to uh, like 50% or so. And we're gonna jump out to the main screen, press exit, and we're gonna jump. And if we see the default screen, you, know, you can scroll through these screens on the front and we can see channel one is going out at 100% and channel 2 is going out 50%. If you're trying to debug these things and the servos aren't doing as you expect, always check this first. Make sure your channel assignments are right. You may have a problem, you know, that the servo, you know, you've got the servos, you know, plugged incorrectly or something, but just make sure that uh, you're getting this part correct first. So that is pretty much the basics of the stick mixing. You basically have the input. The input goes from minus 100% to zero to 100%. And you can scale the weight from minus 100 to 100. You can add an offset if you wanted to, but uh, 
in general, you just the, the weight is the one that's the most important. Now we're going to look at how to program a switch. Switches are also done with mixes, and basically the source we're going to do channel. Oops, sorry, we're going to do channel two. And what we're going to do is on the menu, we're going to change the source to be full. Now full is either going to be minus 100 or 100. Of course, you can modify the weight. Let's, let's go ahead and get the, get the weight back to 100. And what we're going to do is we're going to modify that. with the switch. We're going to go and click on switch there and we're going to switch that over to the aileron which is the aileron dual rate. And what we're going to do, we see that, so it's going to be if aileron is on it's going to be a hundred percent if it's off, it's going to be minus 100%. So you can see how that works. And it works just the same as all the other mixes that if you wanted to make it a lower range, you would just set the weight and it would be a smaller range of motion that was sent out. If we jump over there we can see channel 2 is being sent either minus 100 or a plus 100 and of course scaled down. The other thing that's useful is sometimes instead of being all the way off or all the way on, we want it to be either, instead of from minus 100 to 100, we want it to be from 0 to 100. So let's set the weight back to 100 and there we can see on and off and then what we're going to do is instead of the source being full we're going to be the set the source to be half and what that'll do is it'll either be 0 or 100 and so we can see if you wanted something that flipped between a, the, the center point to the top, you would use the half. If you wanted something that was all the way one way or all the other way, or all the other way, then you would use full. So study those concepts, you know, kind of try, you know, put some servos on, you know, look at your screen, you know, watch channel two, there's zero to a hundred. And once you get uh, the basics of mixing, just about anything that you want to do, you're going to be able to figure out how to do it on the menu.